Another back and forth tussle with Mother Nature here in Eugene. We are at Jane Sanders Stadium for game two of the three game series between ninth ranked Washington, number 24 Oregon. Huskies looking to nail down the crucial Pac-12 series. They won game one last night. Ducks in this booth, how about that? Took something off at Big K. And that's the way to get this game going for Sikolsky. So Hobson hitting over 300, trying to protect another strikeout. And that off-speed stuff is really fooling Washington. But Little liner, three up, three down. Impressive start for Sikolsky. Uh, we're coming from the left side now, and Coach Tar said it's just a different look from everybody else on that pitching staff. A lot of movement in and away from the hitter. Small ball, and boom, just like that, Lushar. And one overall, four and O oh in conference play. Boy, Lopez needed that, and she got the K. Yesterday with the walk and a couple of Ks. First pitch swinging. Wow, unlucky there. So lofting the single to center field. And here we are in the bottom of the first. That's going to score a run. And that's going to find the wall. One run in. Got her at home. Big throw from Fiedler. And this is a beautiful hit in the left center field, but a nice job. Fiedler gets it up, gets it into Holtorf, and she turns and fires home. Stewart grabs this and applies the tag to the body, but... Calvin Walker. Oh. Wow, they're going to call her safe. She might have been safe anyways, but it looked... So Wong, runner at third, two runs already plated for the Ducks. Deep center field. And gone. It looked like Fiedler got a glove on it. Amanda, remember, she's not your usual outfielder. And it is gone, and it's a two-run bomb. And let's watch this as Fiedler has a beat on it, Amanda. Oh, she may have even got her glove on oh, that. Oh, she that did? Was, that was great timing. She, she absolutely did. And it popped out of her glove and over the fence. Now, and you just love that for Valerie Wong. Yesterday, she's 0 for 4 as Koff goes through that 5-6 hole to keep things going. 2.02 ERA. And it's already 4 nothing. Humphreys, first pitch swinging. Mickey takes the batter's box. Straight steal and gone. Nice throw by Stewart to erase the runner. But not before the Oregon Ducks explode for four here in the bottom. Two and two to Johnson. Again, the off speed. Wow. Third K of the game. This early four is, isn't enough. Way too early to be too confident. What a bunt. Doesn't even draw a throw. How about Fiedler just charging down that line? Bird, no chance. Gets a charge into that one. Off the wall. Johnson chugs in for the double. And Fiedler will hold. Or swing in for the, for the K. Lofting it. Center field. Deep, deep. And gone. Nelson. I think most folks thought Delgado was going to flag that down. And instead, Nelson gets... Washington back in it, and then some three-run homer. The balls are just carrying Nelson, and this is an 0-2 pitch. This ball is too close to the heart of the plate. Nelson gets underneath and lifts it 
And this ball just carries and pretty similar to Fiedler in center field. It looked like Delgado was going to camp under, pull it down. What a run. We're going to have to interrupt you. And, <laughs> and it happened. So Cowan. All right. So Sikolsky wants to know what's going on, but Stewart trots on down to first. The mounting gets started. So Alvarez walks and now runners on first and second for the Huskies. And here's Holtorf. Center field straight away. And actually there were only there was only one out. I thought there were two. They had two on the scoreboard. I lost count. My bad hook. Fair ball. Bobbled and safe at the plate. That's the one I was trying Amanda. to get a peek at. Let's look at the bigger picture. This ball, ooh, I don't know. That's so close. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of a yeah. collision there with Taya Bird. And you look at Johnson kind of shove Bird out of the way a little bit. And if not for the bobble, she probably would have been thrown. Gets underneath that. Ducks converging. So that will retire the side, but not before walk career year. And that's officially an out. A little action over there at third for the freshman. <laughs> Washington. Solis, no sweat there, two down. And there it is, hustling over. Hobson doing a nice job to hold Lushar to just a single. That's not often you see outfielders have to throw the ball on the run off. One in the conference in steals is Luchar. You're looking at her. Smoke center field. Bam. Two run bomb Delgado. Her second homer of the year. Not known for the long ball, but boy, did she get a hold of that. Barty not to send Lou Sharp. Instead, she's going to let Delgado come through with the two-run home run. Beautiful swing over the center field fence. Delgado. Second homer. Count is full. Oh, baby. No doubt about it. Wow. Carlson, solo bomb. Moonshot, 10th homer of the year. It's capable of, and we're seeing it. We are seeing some big power. Carlson, we've been talking about her numbers and just a monster shot. I think that clears the fence out in left center field. Heck yeah. All of this happening with two down. Veteran team, and they know that they can't keep leaving folks on base and Here's a walk to Daniel. You know, it's been, they, they got well in a hurry overnight, and yep. they probably tossed. Well, Nelson in the circle now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Touch them all, Val. Back to back, two run ding dongs. Wong. And she really has to go down for this ball. There's that first one over the center field fence. That was back in the first inning. We are in the bottom of the second. Off the glove. 
Koff. Infield single. After Washington had drawn even. Cue ball. Nicely played, Solis. So that'll do it. What a home half of the third. Can Washington respond again? Well, that could help the cause and sure does. First pitch swinging, Johnson now has homered in every series for the Huskies. Okay, this is just getting yep. silly. This is just back and forth because the entire lineup last inning and then Johnson right back after that huge Oregon offensive inning with a solo home run to get things going. Boy, just smoked that thing, didn't she? So again, home runs in every series in Pac-12 play. Penn, Fiedler looking at a three and one count. Free pass. And that brings up the dangerous Olivia Johnson. Swings through it, big K. Spencer needed that one just for a little confidence. A home run to playing defense at first, coming in relief at, to pitch. Got under that one. <laughs> Ninth pitch coming up in this at bat. Wow. So Stewart. Wow. And I mean, at the last second, Carlson has to lay out two. Both teams going deep into their bullpens. Chopper, well played. Holtorf able to erase Bird. Slick play by Holtorf all the same. She's going to have to do it again. Backhand. Sinicki beats it out. Nothing on the throw. So infield single, Sinicki. Press box. Did she go? They say she did. So straight steal, Sinicki in there. So Dill's the yard. That ball just jumped off her bat. Nifty play. You love that by Alvarez, going from third to first defensively. Make and gets Holdorf to sit down via the K. Was in as well. Good at bat for Hobson. Look at Spencer. She is fired up, records her second K of the inning. Solis goes down. Another cat and mouse opportunity here for both. Johnson, wow. Bird snagging that thing out of the air. Chicago, her first ever. Five innings pitch, no hits, five Ks. And she'll show you the emotion too. With us, chilly evening. Rains have stayed away for the time being. Staying home is Alvarez. Two down. She more than makes up for that. A little nubber. Nice play at Alvarez and that'll do it. Good inning for Nelson. Count. Olivia Johnson on deck. Big K, big K for Spencer to spice things up. Here's Olivia Johnson. Under that one. Sanicki gives way. You can bet on that. And that's why.
Goodbye. Another home run for Nelson. Dogs are barking. Huskies staying in it. What a story Brooke Nelson is. I mean, wow. Second home run of the ball game for Brooke Nelson after starting at first, coming into pitch, and now contributing in a big way at the plate. She is so dialed in, regardless of whether she's pitching, playing first, or at the plate. She is so dialed in. That'll find grass as it were. So Stewart keeping the rally going and here. Home run trots. As Stewart slides safely in. Ball bobbled by Wong just a bit. Well, and that'll do it. So Tara McGowan graduates the All-American and Kauf settles in. Whoa, and the collision. Wow. It's being dropped and here we are. Runner at second, nobody out. So Humphreys moves the runner over to third on the ground out. That's a great Boy, pitch. It sure was. And again, Nelson needed a strikeout by the Husky outfield. Full count, two down. Right on the screws, but right at Johnson. Unlucky there for Flannery. Holtorf will lead things off here in the sixth for the Huskies. Base hit, and Holtorf is digging for second. Stand up, two bagger. RBI single, she's also walked and struck out. Big chop, and boy, that's gonna be hard to erase her. Great base running by Hobson. Infield way in. This will be deep enough. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so Hobson tagging as well. You knew Holtorf would be able to tag easily. Aggressive base running by the Huskies on a bang, bang play. Wow, yep, you knew one run would score, but this is so risky to take third when you're on second base. Nice throw. Wow, that was a close play at third. And they're going to go review this. Boy, I bet. Oh, man. Foot is up. Did she get the back foot That's before what I, the front foot that's came what I'm in? I'm looking at, too. The, the ball definitely beat the runner. But where the tag is, a play, uh, is applied, we're taught to read that on your own, and I'm curious what this call is going to be. be. Boy, me too. Safe. Little number gobbled up. So much for my theory. Runner stays at third and a big out for the Ducks. The drama continues here at the Jane. Ball gets away. Oh, man. Run scores. Wild pitch. And Hobson scoots home. My goodness. So Fiedler will trot down to first via. Can't believe Johnson let that one go by. She's lucky. Two and two. Could have gotten rung up. Rip up the middle to keep the inning going. So now 
Runners at second and third, alert base running by Johnson. We're gonna point and counterpoint on that one. And if you're Sidney Stewart, as Nelson trots down to first, you're thinking to yourself, aren't you? They'd rather face me than Brooke Nelson. I wanna make him pay. Own being a little tighter. Ground ball, Sinicki, what a play. She makes everything look so routine. Going backhand, saving the run, force out at third, and that snuffs the route. Third ball called, but she comes right back through the zone with a strike. Big pitch coming, three and one. So there's that walk to lead things off here in the sixth, and that puts the onus on the Husky defense. They've already got her home via the long ball. Big chopper. Only play was at second, but there's no way you're gonna catch Luchar there. A good effort by Holtorf, but the Ducks have got something going here in the sixth. But to even the series, we shall see. Boy, that's a big strikeout, isn't it? Mm. Washington just keep, they just keep coming at Oregon in rally fashion. Called strike three, inside edge. Drive, two aboard, two down. Big chopper, only play is to first. And Nelson does a good job of getting off the hook, getting out of trouble. First two aboard, and then she slams the door. What a game this has been. Top of the seventh, 9-8, Oregon looking to slam the door. Gets underneath that one. Can of corn, one down. And then back to her regular disciplined approach. Payoff pitch coming, this is a big one. Great at bat for Holtorf. Coaxes the walk, and she represents the tying run. Really wells put the ball on the ground and uses her speed. Holtorf with a ton of speed at first as well. Lead runner out, Sinicki charging. Big, big out for the Ducks. Boy, everything that Scott is delivering speed got her mass comes off hugs all around oregon is able to win this one nine to eight what a bounce back victory for the ducks to draw even in the series for amanda our entire broadcast crew i'm Ann saying so long from the jane thanks for spending your saturday evening with us we'll see you for game three tomorrow it's a noon start